Hey everybody, come over right here, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda: The Minish Cap. And um, I know I said that in the last part we would start it off by uh, starting the next dungeon, but I'm a liar. Uh, there's actually some stuff that I want to do real quick before we head there. So yeah, I just want to get that stuff finished before you know I forget. First off, um, we're in like Hylia right now, and we are going to get a heart piece, which is right here. So a pretty easy one to get. I don't know why I didn't get it when I. Um, like before, because that's, you know, one of the easier heart pieces to get. And then, we're also going to go in this little house over here, and we're going to go down, we're going to get a heart piece, and that's a oh, rad. We're going to get a piece of heart, and we get a new heart container, which is awesome. Oh, wait, that was a new, oh, okay, cool, I don't know, that was a new heart container. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and fuse with this bro. His name is Waveblade. And this is another thing that, well, actually, um, Mostly this episode is just me catching up on stuff that I made. Well, not this episode, but, you know, the errands or so I want to run before, uh... What is this one? Hmm. The uh, errands I run, uh, you know, before I go to the dungeon. It's mostly just stuff that I miss stupidly. And I'm just finding out, and, like, I just, like, was checking stuff last episode, and I, you know, realized that I missed it. You're from the true master swordsman of Hyrule, Waveblade. If you train with me, I will teach you skills that will make you a master. So would you like to train here? There isn't a dangerous technique for desperate times. The peril beam. First, you must have only one heart left. Second, use the last last. I can't read that. Oh man, that's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? So there's no turning back now. For one must feel the technique and just hear about it. That's why I'm not possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. This is the way I what your technique of training. Watch this. Switch our room. So you might remember this from past Zelda games, um, you know, the whole sword beam thing. So it's all the last of your waning strength! But basically how this one works is, um, it's kind of like a last ditch effort sort of thing, like, when you're on your very last, uh, heart, then you get, um, to use it. But, as you, most of you probably remember, um, generally the idea was that when you have full hearts you get to use it which is, you know, the uh, upgrade we're going to go get right now, which I also stupidly miss. First, I want to see what that Kinstone fusion did, because, um, I'm just curious. Oh, actually, um, this episode's probably going to be up, well, this episode is going to be up pretty late today. It's 4 o'clock where I'm at, and that's because I tried to record earlier, but, um, I found out that, like, within, like, the last, like, well, like, you know, the last day, my computer got infected with Levirus, and, um, wait... Is this the right way? Oh. What's this? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> that was... Wait a sec. Oh, wait. It's way down there. <sighs> Let's go, Link. Okay. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, but, um... I got infected with the virus. It, like, just happened to pop up, like, within the last day. You know what? I'll get that one later. Um... So, I tried doing a uh, quick scan thing, you know, which only takes like a couple of minutes, and that didn't turn it up, so I had to do a complete full scan of my computer, which took like four hours almost, and then, you know, the virus got rid of it, and the reason why I bring this up is because I could not record with the virus there, because it would not let me open up this program, uh, my recording software. Anyway, though, uh, that's why this episode's up late. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy, but first we're going to fuse Kinsons with him. His name is Grimblade. Maybe something good'll happen. What if something bad happened when you fuse one of those? Like, a meteor hit Hyrule. They fit perfectly, I feel strange power within. The power within. You know what, I'm not gonna read this again. It basically tells you the same thing, but... And the meaning of power of the technique, the sword beam! Except for instead of having... A all right, I'm sorry about that cut. Anyway, the hum, instead of having your um, sword or your heart completely empty, uh, or not completely empty, but almost empty, you get to use this one when your hearts are full, which is dandy. So it's kind of you know like two different extremes. So when the possesses your body, supposed to demonstrate the technique. Are they? Is that just super long hair, or are they wearing like? Uh, I don't know what, I can't remember, like, do-rags or something. Hmm. I've never thought about that before. I was just kind of assumed it was like a hat. 
but it, it might just be their hair. Anyway, now let's go ahead and get this dungeon started up and yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. Didn't want to do that. Oh, wait, yes, I do. No, I don't. That was dumb. Okay, actually, I'm, I'm going to meet you guys at Vale Falls. So I will see you there. Alright, and we are back. And um, I just want to show you guys. Uh, we're actually coming to Vale Falls from the entrance from uh, uh, Lon Lon Ranch and not the Hyrule Castle Fields or whatever they're called. Anyway, though, if you remember, uh, we just fused kin stones with that guy, and now um, it opens up this little waterfall, so we can swim inside, and we can talk to this other master swordsman, bro. The sword in the sword. <laughs> Turn with me, you will discover the secrets of your hidden power. So, would you like to train here? Mm. Not sure to feel you split catching faster than ever. I do visualization training very seriously. I'll have you know. Now, quick, close your eyes. I'm not doing that again. Visually, your body is splitting even faster than before. Whoa! Splitting! <laughs> the opposite of the sword is the not truth. Okay, um, so basically what that did is it let us split faster. Or fill us with faster, as you can see right now. So it's definitely uh, pretty useful. I would, you know, definitely recommend it because there are some little tight spots you get into where uh, you need to fill up here, where you need to like split pretty, pretty quickly, pretty speedily. Uh, no, not that one. So anyway, n <sighs> get over here. Stupid bird. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the cloud tops. Oh, hey, we have the whole map filled up. That's dandy. I gotta say, though, I kind of like the, uh, the way that, um, the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, or er, Game Boy and Game Boy Color games had their uh, map set up, just because, like, it was each square you went to was a different part of the map, not just, like, each section, and I don't know, I just thought it looked kind of cooler, but that's just me. And, like, it was more, like, I don't know. I just kind of like, I just like the way it looked better, and like just kind of the way that you filled it out better, because then it's like you're actually filling out a map. Kind of like in Wind Waker, I suppose. Okay, now we're going to start the Palace of Winds, which is the um, fourth dungeon of the game, and definitely my favorite. Um, actually, well, no, it's definitely my favorite. I'm trying to think of what my second favorite would be, though. Um, I would probably say the... No, I didn't mean to do that. The, uh, fire dungeon thing. Um, I just like this one, because, like I said in the last episode, I just kind of like the idea of it being in the sky, like... It's just this cool feeling. Oh, God. Yeah, sucker. Okay, I guess you... Oh, wait, I see. Okay, you're supposed to push that down and then shoot, like, an arrow at it. That makes sense. Alright, I'd like to stun that guy. Um, oh yeah, I just like, like how it's in the sky, like, I don't know. It's just kind of cool looking. Which is weird, because in uh, in the RL, or the real life, for those who aren't internet illiterate, or literate, not illiterate, um, I felt, oh yeah, I'm sorry about that cut again. But, um, yeah, in, in real life, uh, I'm actually, well, in, you know, I'm, I'm not in real life, well, yeah, I know what I'm saying. Um, I'm actually, I don't like heights very much. Oh, hey, that's cool. Sweet. Oh, snap. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of heights. And I don't really know why, just like, it's, it's, they've always been something. There's a fluffy cloud floating here, it looks awfully comfortable. You're awfully comfortable as well. Ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I don't have like a... Oh, hey. I don't have like a specific reason why I don't like it, it's just not, not a fan of them. How... Are you supposed to do this? Uh. Oh, hi, that works. 
I oh I bet you're supposed to put a bomb down there. That makes sense. Okay. So yeah, if you don't have the magic boomerang, just set a bomb over by the switch. Preferably a remote bomb, probably. It's actually been a while since I've uh, practiced. Oh wait, mini boss. So these are whiz robes. They're um wizards with robes. And basically, the uh, easiest way to defeat them, in my opinion, is just to um use the boomerang and then hit them. Otherwise, they disappear and it can be kind of annoying. Anyway, um, slowly they will spawn more and more until they don't spawn more and more. Uh, or, you know, the mini boss consists of, like, waves of wizard ropes and stuff. But, um, like I was saying, it's been a while since I practiced this dungeon, actually, just because I practiced it when I intended to record it, which was, like, like, October, November, I don't know. Um, so, I don't quite remember everything, but I've been looking at, a or I watched someone's help like, run through this dungeon in an LP, so I've got the, uh, general idea of what's going on. Yeah, and we got the Rockscape, which is one of my favorite items in any Zelda game, just because it allows you to jump like that. Oh! Okay, I... Okay, yeah. I didn't think that it would make me fly. Like, well, basically, I knew, well, I knew that you flew when you had this one on, but you know, you know, a little. Um, okay, so basically, if you just tap B, you jump, but if you hold B, you fly. Or you glide, I suppose. And it's one of my more favorite Zelda items, just because in most Zelda games, you don't really, well, namely the, con well, actually, every Zelda game, I guess, besides, you know, the ones with the Rockscape, you don't, uh, jump at all. Which, I mean, you know, I, mean, I can understand why, just because, well, actually, I don't know why, but, I don't know. Which is not something that Zelda's known for, I suppose. Um... So anyway, I don't know. I just like the fact that you can jump. And I kind of wish I got it earlier in the game, because all we have is this dungeon, and then the boss dungeon, and then we're done. Sucks! Let's see. Okay, so I need 16 more heart pieces until I beat the game. And I know where the some of the ones I can get are, so... Hmm. I might... And, dude... Um, I said that I would, uh, I'd probably just, like, beat the game and then upload an extra video later with all the, uh, heart pieces and extra stuff that you can get, but I might not. I might just go ahead and go through it, like, now. Go, Link! Go, monkey, go! Go, Joe, 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 go, monkey, go! <laughs> I was actually just, um, watching YouTube. Or, not watching YouTube. I sound like my, like, mom when she turns to I was watching the internet yesterday. Um, anyway. Uh, like I was saying, um, I was watching videos on YouTube yesterday, and then, um, some of you guys might remember this, like, how Cartoon Network, like, they used to, um, have songs about their shows, like, play through, uh, the commercials, like, My Best Friend Plank, and then Go Monkey Go. I don't know what the name of that song is, but, like, Go Monkey Go. Mojo, Jojo. There's a strong yell blowing here. Try not to get swept away. On your head. As though you sweep me away. Sweep me off my feet. I wonder if you can just jump over it. Okay, well, actually, I don't want to test that. No, you can't. That'd be, that, that was a dumb question. Um, anyway, we gotta use the uh, wind to blow us over here. Well, we don't actually have to use the wind, but it's safer, I guess. And Okay, that better be the last time that happens. Like I was saying, yeah, well, you just, it's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, crap. Mm. But yeah, I was just watching those, and it brought back this, like, wave of nostalgia. And I'm trying to think of other ones. There was, a uh, the, uh, Dexter's Laboratory one was back. I got a secret. Formula a little bit of mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not the greatest singer. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just brought back a wave of nostalgia. That panel, I think if we stuck on hard enough, might flip over. Brought me back to the days where I used to enjoy cartoons, and I bet you anything this is like, like, you can always tell when it's like, like, it's like a bunch of green rubies and like an inconspicuous red ruby, but it might not be. Oh, yeah, okay. <sighs> Brought me back to the days of Ed, Ed, and Eddie and Dexter's Laboratory. That was my favorite show when I was a kid, by the way. It's a little bit of cuckoo trivia. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That was the business. Yo. Playing it old scum. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Oh, okie do. Oh, hey, bird. Let's just float up these clouds here. What am I doing on time? Oh, okay. Um, I'm actually going to end the video right here. So, if you... Well, I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying, if you like this, comment, and subscribe. Because that was something I said, like, when I first started. Okay, there we go. When I first started Earl Ping, back when, like, I thought the subscribers counted and stuff. Or back when, you know, I was like, Oh, subscribers, sweet! But now it's like, you know, I don't really care that much anymore, so I'm trying to get out of the habit. Well, how's my shadow, like, floating in the sky? Look at that. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so anyway, hopefully you like this, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.